Hi, have you ever wondered if there's any limit to how many of these double adapter or power board things that you can actually plug in series? Well, I found 283 of these in the dumpster, so I thought I'd try it. 283 double adapters all in series. Let's go. Alright, how we're going to test this, I've got a load here which is uh, just one of those um, element uh, heater things, uh, selectable 1 kilowatt, 2 kilowatt. I've got it set to 2 kilowatts and I've got both of my power meters uh, in series here so I'll put one at the start, one at the end. Just want to check the difference between these, they're slightly different cows, 2.03, don't know if you can see that but it's pretty close to being on so yep. One at the uh, start, one at the end, and we'll see how much power it drops. Got Sagan here with me. Um, Sagan, just remembered, um, we actually need a double adapter here because we've got the uh, plug in the power, we have to plug in the power meter. Where are we going to get a double adapter from? Well, I'm looking around. I can't see any double adapters. Maybe if we check them there. But, oh, wait. Murphy, what? We have 283 double adapters. Wait. But we've already done the intro. We've already shot the intro. Oh, wait, I used the exact number. We can't just fudge it. No, we can't. Where are we Don't. Gonna, where are we gonna you can get a double adapter? adapter from. I just realized something, Sagan. What? <laughs> this end here is the uh, female is the outlet end. And the power we've got come in is the dungeons right here. So we've oh. got it back to front. What do you think our chances are of flipping this entire thing around without busting it? Like? Zero. <laughs> I got enough cable and I found a double adapter! Oh, Woohoo! Yes. Okay, now here's our input. Ironically, because <laughs> we put it back to front, we have to power this through five extension cords. But anyway, here's our input. Okay, so I've got no load whatsoever. So we've got 241. 3 volts in and you can see 229 microamps so there is actually some leakage there's 54 milliwatts of leakage there of just the capacitance of all this so Sagan can you disconnect that disconnect. and you can see that the power dropped to zero so plug that back in and so trust me I've got nothing connected to the other end <laughs> there you go 54 milliwatts of just the uh, extra uh, capacitance and reactants of this bad boy. So go all the way along here. Whoa. And <laughs> there you go. Like, well, and the input to my other power meter, but it is actually disconnected. So you can see what was the voltage over there? 241, was it? Something. Well, we got 240.0 here. Here we go. 200 and 83 double adapters. That is just the fan. So just the fan takes 18 watts, yeah, 17 watts. Okay, 239 volts. So it dropped a little bit, one kilowatt. Okay. It's coming out, is it drawing a kilowatt? No, <laughs> 811, it's down to 202 volts. Wow, that drop is massive, Sagan. <laughs> It's down to 202 volts um, <laughs> and tried to draw two kilowatts out of it and it's dropped down to 182 Whoa. volts. I so you, it would be it's, it's massive. Wow, 283 adapters. There you go. But you can. I mean, I'm, I'm still getting warm out of this, kind of. It's not very, <laughs> it's not very good, but you know, it's still, oh. it's, uh, yeah. It's still drawing 1.3 kilowatts out of this thing. And I'm pretty sure this is uh, non-compliant as well. What do you think? You think this is uh, uh, compliant to the electrical standard? 283 yeah. adapters? Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. And let's go back to the other end and have a look. Let's see what happens on the input. Input should still be good, although we are going right along five extension cords, which is kind of dumb, but we need to know the, yeah. And there you go, 228 volts going in. So there you go, so we can calculate 228.2. So we can calculate the voltage drop across all those adapters. 
and we know our current is 7.31 amps. Was the current at the other end? Should be the same. Current in should be current out. So here you go, 1.667 kilowatts. So 7.31 amps. Let's go back. Run back again. And 7.319, yep, there you go, 7.32, so within the margin of error. So there you go, I'll whack up the uh, calculations uh, on the screen now for that, because uh, I'm not going to do that, can you do that in your head, so you can do 283 hey, hey, to... <laughs> hey, hey, no, I'm not here for a math lesson. No, no, not here for a math lesson, okay, there you go. But that's interesting, huh? So um, the answer is, yeah, you can. But, but not recommended. <laughs> so let's go to Dave Calc here and see what the power loss is in one of these adapters, which of course includes, it's not just internally, but uh, includes the, uh, you know, the actual mains connections over here. If you haven't seen an Aussie plug before, then there you go. Uh, this is an in-compliance one because it's got the insulation down there on the pins. That's to prevent you from uh, zapping yourself when you uh, pull the plugs in and out. So there you go, um, active, neutral and earth down there. And of course the earth makes uh, contact first, so it's a little bit longer. Is that a smiley face or the scream mask? Hard to tell. Anyway, the total power loss of 283 of these in series is the uh, input voltage because we it was 240, but then we had some drop across that uh, 20 odd meters of those five uh, extension uh, cords plugged together. So the input voltage to the first one of these was 228.1. So you're going to subtract uh, the output voltage, which was 187.65, and then uh, that's your voltage drop, and V times I gives you your power. So times 7.31 amps, 295.7 watts. So that's going to get toasty warm and it's coincidentally not far off, basically one watt um, for each one of these double adapters. So 200, the total power divided by the number of uh, adapters, 283, 1.045 watts. Um, just call it one watt loss per <laughs> double adapter like this. So yeah, let's uh, crack this open and uh, see what's inside, whether or not they um, use discrete wiring or whether or not they use like a, a brass, uh, you know, contact uh, piece. That'd be my guess, but uh, you never know. Anyway, it's got those uh, weird security thingies in there. Now, of course, that's only the total loss, and we are uh, assuming that the uh, power drop is like the same across each one of these, but uh, we could have one that's like particularly bad and it's like heating up a lot. I should have used my thermal camera, actually. I might go back down there and uh, unfortunately I pulled it apart, but I might reset it up and do a thermal camera test just to see if there's not one dodgy one. There you go. It's wiring instead of like having like a formed brass contact, which is I've seen in uh, other double adapters. Surely that would have been a lower manufacturing cost than having the wire, you know, like somebody's got, you know, you've got to crimp that, you've got to crimp it, you've got to form it, you've got to cut the cable to the right length and all that. You know, they've even used the correct colour-coded wires in here, um, even though you can't access this, you know, so it does technically doesn't matter. So, yeah, I expect that to ultimately have a, uh, like, a higher resistance uh, per unit than you'd get if you just had, like, a solid brass strip moulded into some plastic that's what i would have expected and then you thought maybe they couldn't form it you know maybe it costs more to form it then i don't know leave it in the comments down below i wouldn't think so can we actually oh yeah there you go there you go that's like a press stud it's just like a copper stud that uh connects that to the pin but yeah i don't know uh, like why can't you just form that like in one like continuous brass thing and have have it going all the way over there. I would have thought that'd be better, but anyway, they do have a decent size cable on this. So this is an Arlec brand, which isn't exactly a a no namer. So I could I can measure that, but that's probably you know that's a decent amount of copper in there. So obviously most of your one watt loss is uh, is coming from your uh, like the actual contacts, because this stud thing seems to be fairly solid. Whether or not that's consistent over all of the units, I don't know, but it seems you know seems pretty good. The machine that they've got to you know they'd have a custom machine that uh, crimps all that. That's all right, but it's just a one watt total loss per unit. Um, interesting, huh? I really did not expect 
that high. I expected, you know, a lot less than that. And I have no idea why I wrote Millie Watts there. That's obviously Millie Ohms. There you go. Ohm. 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 So nine and a half milliohms, um, a total uh, resistance. So it's like total drop. So that includes both uh, wires here and all the uh, contacts as well for each um, individual section. But most of that resistance is going to be in your just your plug uh, contacts here, your press plug contacts, because, you know, not a huge amount of force in those and you can get, you know, corrosion on them and crud and all sorts of uh, stuff like that. The copper in here is pretty good. It's going to have minimal loss. The crimps seem pretty decent and those studs seem pretty decent as well. So we'll just see if we can ballpark measure that. I'll use my LCR meter. I'll null out the uh, leads like this. And if we stick a probe in the clacker, oh, like that, that's actually, that's a significant amount of force, actually. Um, so, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, 10. There you go. Um, 8.7 milliohms. So you double that, uh, of course. And, uh, yeah, you're around about that uh, 20 there. So... Uh, that works out. So yeah, leave it in the comments. Are you surprised that there's one watt loss in each one of these things? I certainly was. Anyway, hope you found that interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And as always, discuss down below. Catch you next time. All right, I've reset it up here and uh, we're gonna use the Fleur. There's the power point there. So it's uh, currently, at, uh, well, the cable there is at 32 uh, degrees. So let's follow the money. And there you go, you can see that the, uh, the floor's at about uh, 21 degrees. Fairly constant uh, temperature down here in the dungeon. Let's uh, have a look. I'll try and keep this, sorry, this ain't exactly uh, steady cam. You can see there are differences. Like there are like a bunch, like, you know, two or three in series there. They're about 36 and then Others jump to like 30, something like that. There are a few that are a bit out, but not by a huge amount. We'll come back to that. So let's just go along and you'll see this is like a common pattern. There seems to be like just groups of these that are kind of a little bit hotter, but not like huge. It's not like dissipating like 10 times the power of something else. And we can just keep going. I just keep going, but you'll see it's fairly consistent. I mean, you know, you could get in there and individually retweak each one of those because they are sort of like a uh, snap kind of fit, um, so to speak, because you can hear them like sort of like click into place and they're all pretty much in, but maybe, you know, you could reseat a couple like there's 35, but there's nothing that is chewing. Like, you know, there's no one of them that's chewing like 50 watts. And they're all sort of like reasonably equally contributing, not absolutely perfect, but, you know, good enough when you average them all out. So, yeah, why, why are we getting little subgroups like that? I'm not sure. Maybe it's just the way that uh, we like assembled them, like flex them. Like I didn't reseat each one of them as I put them in. So I sort of like carried them out in groups. There's the end of it, the cable there, the cable's at like 28 degrees, and then there's the heater. So there you have it. It seems like, uh, you know, the dissipation is fairly consistent across all of them. It wasn't one bad one at fault. So, but you know, there are some variations between units, that's for sure. Catch you next time. I'm not sure what's more satisfying, stringing them in series or arranging them like that. Tough call. Summon the energy of the portal of power. Om. Om. Om.